What in? <laughs> what? Who That's what we were waiting for. That's what we were waiting for this whole time. CDN the third held up right, the line for this. The, all the way in, man. The, the new day's is passing out pancakes. They're throwing out pancakes. Oh my goodness, great! This all we need I've is some bootios. Back from the season. CDN is a big <laughs> man. How tall is that structure that they formed together? Is Xavier Woods holding that, CDN that, on his? That structure you're talking about is Xavier Woods underneath him, just so you, just so everybody's aware. That that's not a building or uh, or, or something. That's it, a human a being. That is a person. <laughs> and I almost feel like it's unfair that <laughs> CDN wasn't carrying Xavier Woods. I should have been the other way around. <laughs> oh my goodness! And here come all the players. We've got Nate, Nate shot in shot his group. In. Got wow. Pokey Main. I see her little head poking out there. What? <laughs> some fun cops dropping some moves on the floor. This is so absurd. <laughs> and everyone's just going in, taking pictures, having a good time. They're starting to make their way up to the stage right now. What? Does a bit of this surprise you? Because it doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Oh, no. I mean, against, man. This is shenanigans. I'm not. I'm not. Listen, I am a. I, I've worked with Xavier Woods before. There it is. The guy's a ridiculous human being. The dab. Drop we we dab all signed up for shenanigans today. We did. There's a lot of dancing. These, I'm, I'm extremely jealous of the dance moves, to be honest with you. I, I, I can't possibly do any of these. There you can see Myth. He's going to be teaming with NBA professional. Athlete Paul George. You also got uh, Darkness429 playing with Marcus Scribner. Some good, some good players Wallet in this play. first one. Nate shot as well. Very, I mean, this guy's been in the scene for such a long time. And now they're gonna start taking the stage. I mean, look at this. All the all the skins, everything's out here. This is insane. What Golden Boy, why didn't you dress up as the tomato head? I, yeah, I what's 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 have the deal you seen there? me sweat? I don't Mark think it would be a good decision. Joel McHale. coming on in with Joel McHale. Really this excited is, to see those two here. This is wave number Valkyrie. two. Valkyrie coming in. Up, there are so many names here. Yeah. Can you believe this? It's, it's, is, it's a little bit overwhelming. It really is, you know? <laughs> but I think that's what makes this so amazing, right? And, and and honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way, but I still can't get over the ridiculous. The, the ridiculous <laughs> kids. I love it. <laughs> they, have to, they have to play. It's hot up here. They have to play in that outfit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to talk to that young lady about her slurp juice jug. El Rubius. Jug there in a bit. El Rubius in it. from Spain. Really excited to see him play. He's a very patient, very patient player. Wow. Just the fans are going absolutely nuts for this as well. Uh, Jericho, Jericho. I, I don't I don't understand what him and Dylan Francis are doing, but Love they, the listen, they have a bond that you might be jealous of. Okay, don't make I, it public. I You're know. making a scene. I know I am a little salty. Cypher you know? PK coming in. Oh boy, he's I'm telling you, he's 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 like one of the favorites in my mind. Same before the trap legend man, you gotta look out for him. And and even if he's not there, yes. you still have to look out for what he's left behind because it might do 150 <laughs> damage to you and then you're gone. Because it just you might eliminate, eliminate you. you. You're done. Cypher's partner Tariq is said to be the best Fortnite player in the NFL. I hope it's if, a bold if, claim. If he heard that is the, the ego's going I'm just kidding. I'm sure he's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's great. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so cool. So everyone's starting to make their way out. We're gonna have our next wave in just a little bit. And every, I mean, how, how ridiculous just the pandemonium of everyone coming in. <laughs> we look, look outside for space. You can tell he's feeling it. Joel's getting some pictures of the crowd out there. And the crowd's gotta put on a good show for these people, okay? Make some noise. That's right. There we go. Gotta get hyped up. Can't you show him there? Oh, it's my boy Courage. Courage. Saw Go Glove, big, big star. So glad Courage is playing today. He has, his skill has gone up so much in the past few months. It's insane. It's insane indeed. And the Raptor, okay. So we just got all the outfits. Everything's right. coming out. I'm telling you, every skin might be here. Chandler Riggs, The Walking maybe, Dead. Maybe, maybe a little Skull Trooper, make people, make people a little salty. I don't know. Oh, dude. <laughs> wait, wait. So if they come dressed as a Skull Trooper and it's after it's been released today. Yeah, that's it. That's uh, that's as close as you're possibly going to get to this, <laughs> at least for the time being. But man, this is, uh, and I think this is our last wave. It's our incredible last wave coming seeing all these people come in. Yeah, all these names, all these people from so many different branches of pop culture, uh, combined with all the the content creators that are here playing today. That's a that's a lot of people, man. That's yeah. a lot of people from all over. Wait, Not wait. even. It, it, it's incredible. Marshmallow. And who's this guy with the Final who's this guy with the with the hair? What's what's that? What's the deal there? I feel uh, like he's gonna go Super Saiyan as he's walking up, right? Final wave. It's the one and only Ninja and Marshmallow making their way out. Alongside with Gotaga, Demetrius Johnson, UFC fighter. We got uh, Samara uh, Redway along with uh, Cyrus Spencer. 
I mean, so many people. Tim the Tap Man, y y your buddy, oh, your buddy's here. I love Tim. I, 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 you know, it's funny. You mentioned Tim and Ninja was just there. They have very similar play styles, you know? Yeah. Uh, both of them very movement oriented. Ninja likes to ma make some plays with impulse nades and, and launch pads and all that kind of stuff. And Tim's movement based gameplay is very downward, toward downward the ground. Yeah. Uh, you saw, I feel like they're basically the same player, you know? Yeah, essentially, you know? Uh, it's, uh, they just basically use gravity to their advantage. Exactly. Or exactly. disadvantages, depending on, on who it may be. What? It just, it just doesn't just stop, coming, dude. Man. It just doesn't stop. There's a uh, Femstep. Fem There's Tim the Tap Man. There he is. Today. There's Tim. Oh, I, okay, so question here. Is Marshmello actually going to play with the hat on? With the, with, with oh, the helmet? It, it, Golden Boy, you realize that's not a hat, right? That, that's, oh, really? That's his real head. Oh, yeah, I didn't it, know that. It's not, you can't remove that. That's okay. Well, let's hope that the Astros fit it. I mean, I, it's going to be rather ambitious. <laughs> I commend him for it. I commend hats, hats off to you, sir. Oh, my goodness gracious. This is just this is just madness. But I think everyone is on their feet, excited, ready to go in a little bit. Now, if you had to choose one skin to dress up as for an event like this, oh. Golden Boy, what would you pick? What would you come as? Okay, if I had to pick one, oh boy, I don't know, man. Reaper would be a very. Uh, I feel Reaper like would be, a be nice. One. Re Reaper, I think, would be elegant. If you wanted to, but I don't have hair. Gold I don't Reaper. have hair. You know, like I'm, you, you I am the, uh, the flowing mane. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, you know, hair deprived. <laughs> so it all migrated down onto your face. It's okay. You look yeah. great. Okay, I know what you're gonna say, but what about you? Uh, uh, I, I'm a circuit breaker fan, man. Looking like a cyborg. Got to do it. Got to do it. Yeah. So okay, you know the trademark. Circuit Breaker, I respect that. We got that, that Raven one must be pretty like boiling. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> they, 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 I, I, I don't envy you, sir. Inside, exactly. I, I do not envy. Oh man, and they got all the pickaxes too. The and dance moves coming out. Just, you think you can make a pizza for me right now? I mean, or at know, least would you want it right now? Yeah, he, I'll eat any pizza. If, you are actually a, if a you like pineapple person. on pizza, it's okay. It's okay to be wrong. All right. Exactly. I, I accept exactly. you. God, I we really are wrong. just. Two piece. Are we burning our, our careers to the I think we are. by mentioning that? There are a lot of, I mean, I'm from New York, so you know, I mean, if, if you're coming to me with, with some pineapple pizza, you know, I mean, that's just, I mean, come on. Get out of my face. Get out of Listen, my face. I don't want to talk to you about it. You know, right? <laughs> I, I ain't having to see these hands. You know, <laughs> that's all, that, that's it. But we also have uh, Justine who's going to be standing by in a little bit uh, with some of our uh, celebrities there to get their thoughts. And do you, do you think she will have a conversation with the giant llama? I, I well, want her to have well, a conversation with the giant llama. llama. We also have Gloom standing by with uh, with Myth and, and Pokemon. Pokemon. Okay, I like that. Unison. Pokemon. You like that unison? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I think for now, let's send it over to Justine, who has some of our guests on hand. Oh, we do. But first, we need to welcome all of our players who are up here competing for charity. Are you guys excited for this? Make some noise. Let's Woo. make some noise. Make it. Woo -woo. Well, let's get this started very, very shortly. I'm so excited for you guys to see what we have in store for you. And let's head it back to the casters. All right, so Justine in just a little bit is going to They're prepping. Prepping. They're prepping, you know, because they, they, listen, let, let's be honest here, okay? There's just a lot of craziness. I expect okay? an interview with the tomato man at a minimum. I would uh, be disappointed if we didn't get that because also I just want to ask, like, is it a 1,000 degrees inside of that? It probably is. It probably is. Or, or maybe the tomato is his head. Like marshmallow. I, th def I feel like that's probably experiment related. We probably can't talk about that. That's true. Uh, the FBI. Don't, uh, don't yeah, worry no, about it. Don't want to mention that stuff. You know, that, that'd be bad. Uh, but, you know, I mean, again, just the, the, the sheer pandemonium of the moment. Everyone coming up on this stage it's like It's incredible. That. Look at the crowd, uh, man. Yeah. And the, the, the you see Fortnite? the Fortnite thing is so sick. Do you think, can, can I get that from my house? Can we, can they just, can we just move that? Could you, you want all of I that in your house? Yes. Yes. Just take the whole thing. Well, yeah. I'll find space, okay? Yeah. Okay. Just, I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the street. It's, it's fine. I mean, I, I think your wife's not going to be too very wild. happy with that. But Sorry. for now, Sorry, let's send it over to Justine, who has some of our players standing by. Oh, we've got some of our players here. We've got Prince Royce and Joel McHale. How's it going, yeah, guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, hi, Royce. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? How is the uh, <laughs> incredibly sweaty two-thirds of the audience doing? Seems like they're sweating. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. But, I mean, this is such a crazy event. I mean, have you guys experienced anything like this before in this sort of entirety? I did this last night here, but <laughs> no, this is amazing. There's uh, 60,000 people here. It's amazing. So, I mean, the future of video games, did you ever think growing up, because I played, I was very young, this is something that I never pictured any of us ever experiencing. 
when I was playing Frogger, I never imagined there would be a, a tournament. And then you said Myth and Ninja, and people went uh, crazy. Yeah, so have you guys been practicing with your teammates at all? Uh, I played one game with Willie. I played one game, like, last week. Kind of just got to know each other. Um, but, yeah, I, I, you know, everything started, like, charity, fun. But I feel, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. Oh, are you? <laughs> I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. Well, there is a lot of pressure. There's a lot of people watching as well. I'm trying. To, I'm just trying to have fun, you know, have a good time. They got all the skins unlocked. Do you hear about that? Uh, yes, it's really exciting. And also, I'm a huge fan of the Nintendo Switch. Now Fortnite on Switch, so you can take it on the go. Fortnite's on Switch. We got more time to play on the plane. I've got my strategy down. I'm going to drop into the water and die there because that means no one can kill me. <laughs> Loot Lake. Do you guys have a favorite place to drop usually? Tilted. Nah, just kidding. Oh, gosh. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't go to Tilted. Uh, no, I'm going to hide. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to select a really nice bush and squat in that the entire game until Paul George gets knocked out. So what do you guys expect from this whole thing? Like, after this is all over, do you consider to go back and play some more? Well, oh, I'm, I'm going to keep the charity money for myself. <laughs> well, guys, there's so much more coming for you guys today. But we're going to throw it over to Gloom and see what she's got for us. <laughs> I'm here with Pokimane and Myth right now. We're going to start with you, Pokey. All right. We talked about a month ago, and I was like, are you nervous? And you were like, no, it's just for fun. It's just gonna be, it's just gonna be a good time. But now that your partner designer has been switched out for Josh Hart, how are you feeling? Honestly, a little disappointed, because I think voice comms with the designer would have been such good content, would have been really fun, really funny. But Josh Hart is really nice. I think it'll be fun either way. I mean, we get to meet celebrities and compete for charity. It'll be a great time. Are you really going to take control of the comms, or do you think you're just going to like follow him around and let him do it? I mean, he says I'm better than him, which I don't know if I believe. Either way, you know, we strategized a bit backstage, so I think I know what to do. All right, well, good luck out there. Moving on to Myth. Myth, you are a patient, top-tier player. Is it weird coming to tournaments like this where everyone expects you to win are there any things you do to kind of calm the pressure a little bit? Uh, there definitely is a lot of pressure with that. The expectations are definitely high. I guess the one thing that I just don't want to do is die to fall damage. I have a record for doing that, so as long as I don't die to fall damage, I think I'm going to be pretty good. You know what I mean? Are you worried about Paul George dying to fall damage? Or? Nah, nah, nah. Paul George isn't as uh, exposed to fall damage as I am. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, Paul George is a great teammate, and I just want to come out here and do the best that I can with him, of course. One more question. Since you usually are very smart, good at decision making, do you think that you're going to be a little bit more passive or do you see yourself being more aggressive in this particular event? So passiveness and aggressiveness is, it needs to be taken with a grain of salt. Like I'm coming, I'm coming into this event playing smart with Paul George. So if you play too aggressive, you end up biting a bullet. If you play too passive, you end up losing opportunities that you should have taken and you should have been aggressive. So it's all about smart play. I believe in a good balance of both is what leads to W's. It's about taking the opportunity. So you're going to go there. You're going to hit W key. I believe in you. Thank you so much. And back to our casters. Thank you so much, Gloom. And yeah, so uh, can we just re <laughs> can we talk Listen, about? Okay, right. Joel McHale, I just want you.